uh, as you are practicing these arches, and as you are learning, let me get my um, pointer. As you are blowing up on this, the other thing that I want you to be thinking about is blowing out air in your cheeks. So it's all, as I said earlier, there's nothing pretty about playing the recorder. So as you're getting pushing air into the instrument, we're actually going to fill our cheeks first. And the more air you blow into the instrument, the more air you can feel. In fact, I can create a vibrato. All that sound you're getting is just because I'm pushing the air out of my cheeks. Now, what does this do? Several things. As today, we start introducing half hole, which gets us to that upper octave. The one thing that people like to complain about with this cute little soprano is that it's harsh, that it's shrill, that it's loud. Yes, it can be all of, all of those things. However, one of the things that we do to soften that upper register is to let the air circulate in our cheeks first. So when I'm playing these higher notes, I'm actually relaxing my cheeks and filling my cheeks with air so that it's not quite so harsh and directed to the instrument. So the difference And you can, you can experiment with that when you're doing the arches or when you're playing these upper notes, which I know you may not know how to play yet because we haven't talked about the half hole yet. But that's one of the things that I want you to experiment this time as you work on these arches or even the straight tone. Um, or when I'm playing just an open B, see how much air you can have in your cheeks. The lower you go on the instrument, the less air because there's not much pressure to play those low notes. The higher you go on this instrument, the more you can use your cheeks. This is one way to make a soprano sound not quite as, you know the words <laughs> that come out when people describe the soprano. The soprano. <coughs> but it helps it soften, <coughs> excuse me, soften the sound a little bit. Uh, not be quite so harsh, not quite so focused. Um, Although we like focus, but not um, so direct is probably a better way to say that. We like focus. So just be thinking of that. It's not something I want you to focus fully on right now. You're still thinking fingers and all of that. But as you play one note and experiment with your air, be thinking about how you can use your cheeks. Because it is a resonating chamber. It allows us to circulate and soften the air before it hits this instrument. This is one of those things because we are a direct blow and we don't have resistance that we can use uh, to our advantage, to the advantage of the sound. All right, so now we're going to turn back to articulations, just review real quickly. Our primary articulation, do, 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 And we're going to play, practice this again in just a second. Everything during this entire class, I want you to be focused on that do. I want you to know that the two exists. I want you to know that you can close the articulations with dut or dud or tut. I suppose you can use a tut. <laughs> there are probably times that I do when you think about it. Um, but you can close those. And you can even, like, for instance, practice the Brahma, this one that you know that we've been doing now for a, a, few, uh, a few days. But you can even practice that with short articulations. Take a piece that you know the fingerings pretty well on now, and practice just going dot, 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 dot. And then you can also practice varying that dot. It can be a really short dot, or it can be a longer. So that you get used to closing off the articulation.
happy to respond. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will uh, thanks very much. Hopefully, here.